Do you believe in ghosts? How about hosting an open house in the same house where the double murder that started a killing rampage took place? From the Los Feliz murder home to the Greystone mansion. Los Angeles real estate has some of the most notorious homes in America. Whether they are really haunted or not, I will leave that up to you to decide. But one thing is for sure, when you walk into some of these homes, you can feel that something just isn't right. Enough to send a chill running down your spine. Before something unforeseeable happens, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hi there, my name is Matthias and I'm your trusted Los Angeles real estate agent. And today we're going to talk about haunted houses in Los Angeles. First on the list is the Greystone Mansion. Built in 1928, the sprawling estate got off to a tragic start. In 1929, oil tycoon Ned Doheny Jr. and his secretary were found dead in an apparent murder-suicide. What actually happened, we may never know. Doheny's widow remarried and lived in the house until 1955. Today, people claim all sorts of strange things happen in and around the mansion. Next is the Pico House in downtown LA. Built in 1870, it's one of the oldest buildings in the area. One of the most notorious and atrocious incidents in LA history happened in the area. The Chinese Massacre of 1871. During this tragic event, a mob of around 500 people stormed Los Angeles Chinatown, resulting in the death of approximately 19 people. Some of the violence spilled over to the Pico House, where victims sought refuge. Visitors and workers have reported seeing apparitions, hearing footsteps, and feeling unseen hands. And then there's the house on Cielo Drive in Benedict Canyon. The location was the site of the infamous Manson family murders in 1969. Although the original house was demolished, the area is said to be haunted by the victim's spirits. The builders of the new development went as far as changing the address in order to free it from its past. But I don't think that's enough to confuse the ectoplasm. Have you heard of the Los Feliz murder house? In 1959, Dr. Harold Perelson killed his wife and attempted to murder his children before taking his own life. Neighbors claimed to hear eerie noises and see flickering lights. Built in 1887, the Hale House in Highland Park is a beautifully preserved Queen Anne style home. However, beneath its charming exterior, lies a reputation for paranormal activity. Visitors have reported hearing disembodied voices, seeing shadowy figures, and feeling sudden cold drafts through the house. The Rockhaven Sanitarium, established in 1923 in Glendale, was a haven for women seeking mental health treatment. Though it closed in 2006, many believe the spirit's former patients still Linger. Visitors and paranormal enthusiasts claim to hear a mysterious sound and experience eerie sensations on the property. Located on Carroll Avenue in Angelino Heights, the Saunders House gained fame as the backdrop for Michael Jackson's iconic thriller video. The Victorian mansion is not just famous, but also infamous for its hauntings. Local reports seeing ghostly figures in the windows and hearing unexplained sounds adding to its spooky legacy. Next is the Wonderland Murder House in Laurel Canyon. It was the scene of a gruesome quadruple homicide in 1981, linked to the notorious gang of adult film star John Holmes. Since then, the house has been plagued with reports of ghostly apparitions, unsettling noises, and an overall sense of dread among visitors and residents. But it's not just homes that are haunted in LA. The city has a long list of places worthy of the paranormal, from the Queen Mary to the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, and from the Linda Vista Hospital to the Beverly Hills Bermuda Triangle. Los Angeles is a city full of history and mystery. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, these places offer fascinating stories and chilling experiences. Thank you for sticking around to the end. 
In case you are curious, yes, I sold several homes where murders did take place, and one was even notorious. I'll leave you with a tip. If you are selling a house with a gruesome history, you have to let the buyer know. Remember, when in doubt, disclose. There is a famous case in New York where a seller even advertised their house in the newspaper as being haunted, but failed to tell the buyer. When the buyer found out he had bought a local tourist attraction, he sued and won. The court famously stated that as a matter of law, the house is haunted. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more interesting story and real estate tips. If I don't hear from you sooner, I will see you in the next video. Until next time, don't forget to explore boldly and live passionately in LA.